two is about collecting data. Example one, identify the population. So a few definitions here. Population, guys, is all of the individuals in a group being studied. So for example, the population in an election is all of the voters. So if you're a voter, you become part of that population. A sample is a group of individuals chosen from a population. So for instance, uh, if you chose 100 voters out of each province or out of a territory, that would be considered a sample. It's not the whole group of voters, it's just a piece of it. So a sample is a section of the population. So the question here is to identify the population for each situation. Would you survey a sample or the whole population? Why? So let's have a look. Part A. A bike store owner wants to find out which brand of mountain bike her customers prefer. So the population in that case is the store's customers, right? So it's the store's customers. Uh, and so then you need to ask yourself, would it be possible to survey every customer? Probably. They're, if they're a customer uh, buying mountain bikes, chances are um, they're coming into the store uh, to order. So you have a direct um, opportunity to communicate with the customer. So yes, I would say that is likely. Now, um, it depends on the size of the store. A small store would probably be able to survey all of their customers fairly easily. A large store, um, like if it was the size of a Walmart or something, probably they're busy enough that they probably can't really survey all of their customers, but they might still be able to. But chances are a large store would probably deal with a sample. Um, yeah. Uh, it would be time consuming and expensive for a large store to survey all of their customers. If you deal with a few hundred people a day, um, you're putting resources into a survey a lot in one day. So that does get expensive if you look at the time involved. So, part B, the Government of Canada wants to know how many high school students have internet access. So, first off, ask yourself, who does the government want to know about? Well. It's high school students, right? So the population for this scenario is the high school students. They're not curious about everybody's internet access. They're focusing specifically on high school students within Canada. So that's your population. And you can again ask yourself, would it be possible to survey every high school student in the country? That's a lot of students. That would be tricky to deal with logistically. Um, I don't know how many schools there are in Edmonton alone, uh, so when you expand that across the country, that's a lot of high school students. So no, it, it's really not reasonable um, to be able to reach all of those high school students to find out. Um, so it would make sense to survey a sample, uh, because it would take too much time to find all the high school students in Canada. Next page. A basketball coach needs to find out if the team wants to go to an out-of-town tournament. So, who does the coach need to ask? Well, he needs to ask the team, right? The population is the team. Would it be possible to ask each person on this team? It's a team. It's highly interactive. It's a limited number of people. Um, so, yes it would be possible to ask everybody. Would it make sense to do this, the sample of it? Probably not. You need to know if your whole team's gonna be there, so you need to really ask the whole population. It would make sense to survey the whole population. Uh, because the coach does need to get everybody's input. If you have a couple of key players that can't make it, well then that really impacts the decision whether or not you take the team out of town. So this is really all about determining the difference between a population and a sample so far. Next up, we have a show you know. 
Uh, please read through that and give it a try.